What is up guys? So today's review, a little different. We're going to do an at home review, alright? We're going to try some frozen pizzas. Some staples, I would say. The classic Stouffer's, that French bread. You know. If you don't know about that classic Stouffer's French bread. I don't know. I just don't know at that point. This Totino, this what is it? Totino's, this party pizza that uh probably could be microwave type thing. Then we got this. Look at the size of this fucking thing, bro. DiGiorno's here. DiGiorno's crispy pan. They're deep dish, frozen, I guess. Crispy and caramelized. All right. First, let me get back to this thing. All right. Notice, see, I got, I got these two boys already on the plate because it's a take-home edition. This ain't even. I'm not even gonna cook this today. I'm not gonna cook it, not because I don't want it, because I know I, I already had this thing a million times. Okay, so I already got a score for this. I don't, I'm not gonna open it and put it in the oven and shit because I'm going to waste it because I got all this other pizza but I already know this thing All right, solid 3.8 to 4.8 I'll be honest it ain't average, it's below average but in a pinch, you throw this boy in let me see What's the... cooks in 10 to 12 minutes alright 10 to 12 minutes, you ain't getting many pizzas in 10 to 12 minutes so when this thing is in the freezer, especially if I got some like ramen in the in the pantry, yo, know, this thing it can hit a 4.8 is what I'm saying. It can hit a 4.8 if you're in the mood. You know what I mean? 4.8, but probably probably a 4.3 most of the time, maybe. But like I said, 3.8 to 4.8, depending on how much. How hungry you are. We ain't even gonna eat that one today. Cause this that's my boy. But now let's do the Stouffer's French bread. Just the cheese again. And I like my cheese I like these boys a little burnt, you know, because it's kinda like one big edge. You know, like there's really only that strip in the middle that's like normal center. If you know what I mean. Here let me show you. See, it's like that that party boat, you know what I'm saying? Everybody chilling on the edges, you know. I like it, you know. I like the edges crispy. So here we go. If you know, you know. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. And obviously, with uh, frozen pizza. If you got a bad oven, or if you don't read directions, or you wait too long, or you just burn it, it can be different every time. I think these French bread pieces are probably best in the toaster oven. But, you know, we got a toaster oven. So if I'm giving that Totino's a high, a high of 4.8, this is at least a step above. This is definitely like at least a point above. I don't want to go too high into the sixes though with this. Because like the scale is based off like an average of five, an average one is five. Will we say this is average? Maybe, probably, but if that's 4.8 on the best day, this is at least like, you know, at least a 6, I ain't gonna give a score yet, just saying. I'm trying to think, you go somewhere, you get a 
average slice. Is this going to be better or worse? Maybe an optimal, you know. I mean, if, yeah, actually. So if this shit, if we're being honest, Totino's, I'm giving that a 4.3. 4. 4. I'll be nice. So then I'll give this one a 5.1. I'll give it a 5.1. I'll give it a hair above average, okay? Give it a hair above average, maybe in optical con conditions, toaster oven, maybe some more toppings, still in that cheese bullshit on. Uh, maybe it's, I don't know, I don't see how I get much, I don't see if it's like a six, I don't think it's a six. I don't think it's like a full point above an average slice of pizza that you would get from a restaurant. So yeah, five point... What did I say? We'll go 5.2. 5.2, I think I said. Alright. Now, this is that DiGiorno's crispy pan. Now, we're going to do that crispy pan deep dish from DiGiorno. I didn't get a real close up today. Look at that thick boy. That's some. That's a lot of bread right there. You know, a lot of bread. Yeah, you know, this is like lightweight. Remind me of like a lunch. You know, a school lunch pizza. Pretty bready. Not too much sauce. Light on the sauce. They did kind of cake the cheese on, which is good. Let's see, they got the pull on the bread. If anything, ain't no pull on that cheese. We got that school lunch pizza, all right? All right, so hot. Boys, it's fresh. All right, DiGiorno's deep dish. One bite. So definitely right off the bat, that thick bread is nice. In an oven the same amount of time. And this thinner bread definitely got chewier or like rougher to get through but this thick bread took that and uh it's still soft i don't know if that's a sauce hold on Just comparing Totino's, like I said, it is what it is. That's my, it's a, it's a guilty pleasure. If this is a five point two, like I said, I think this is, I think this one is better than that one. The crust, the bread on this shit's pretty good. Like it ain't. Doesn't have like that frozen bread taste, you know, like pretty good, pretty solid, still soft. The sauce is good. Not great. It's good. Good crunch on that crust. Solid outing from the cheese. Out of this one, I'll give this one one more bite. You get that corner piece. Oh yeah. That's a solid 6.6. 6. 
6.6, okay? Definitely better than some restaurant pizzas I've had. That was really good, actually. The crust, I mean, that, that dough is just great, actually. Like I said, the sauce was good, not great. But yeah, it's definitely better than a restaurant pizza I've had, okay? Don't know if I can say that about the Stouffer's. Obviously, not the Totino's. But I've definitely had worse restaurant pizza than this. So 6 point, what I say? 6.5, 6.6. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. And good thing this is the biggest fucking pizza I've ever seen in a frozen section. Because it's pretty good and I can eat off of it for a nice few days. Look at all that bread, bro. Damn. Alright. Take it easy. Oh yeah. Happy Halloween.